Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Negan. And I'm Charlie XPX. Today is Thursday, October 31st, 2024, and it's Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Gather around, you ghouls and ghosts. It's time for a spine-tingling, brain-teasing, spooky trivia that will chill your bones and tickle your brain. It's today during ACT in the Media Center. Please check the lost and found table if you are missing any items. All items will be discarded after November 1st, which is tomorrow. This is a message for students who walk to school. Please be advised that you may not cut through the effort of cloister when walking to and from school. That is private property and should be avoided. Now over to my friend with the news. Halloween on October 31st is undoubtedly the creepiest, most ghostly holiday of them all. Children dress up as Batman, the Joker, Wonder Woman, or some other favorite character. They go to parties or walk their neighborhoods with jack-o'-lanterns full of sweets as they go trick-or-treating. Spooky decorations fill windows and porches, and screams can be heard in living rooms up and down the country as we collectively binge our favorite horror movies. Halloween has become popular in America in the 19th century, with enthusiasm for the holiday being brought across with the Irish and Scottish immigrants who were arriving at the time. The biggest change from Halloween's earliest roots is that it becomes more secular than religious. By the 1920s and 30s, Halloween parades and parties became a major part of the festivities and the holiday was celebrated from coast to coast, regardless of race or religious background. Now over to lunch and sports. What's your workout routine? Um, legs. Legs? Yeah, we're gonna legs today. Legs are for nerds. For nerds. Can I get the glasses? <laughs> Yo, where did where they just talk from? Let's take a picture, man. Let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Can I help you? How much do you bench? How much do I bench? Yes. I haven't benched in years. I use dumbbells. The most I use for dumbbells is 70 pounds. All right. Does that meet your criteria? That does. It does? But I'm better. And I'm stronger. I'm going to hurt myself. This is lightweight for a guy like me. The paparazzi just can't get enough. They, they want to see me and my muscles.
Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope you're all having a very safe and fun holiday so far. Today for lunch, we got a hot dog slash roll, southern turkey barbecue with a whole grain roll, primo pizza, cranberry chicken salad croissant, taco salad, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, sauerkraut, Bush's baked beans, coleslaw, steamed green beans, fresh broccoli or cucumber slash dip, applesauce, some fresh fruit, or 100% juice slash slushy. And once again, happy Halloween. Make sure you stay safe out there. It's a scary night. How you doing down there? Fortunately, you know what's gonna happen. You've been, uh, you've been bit. So you're gonna need a little kiss from Lucille. <laughs> You find me cruel, selfish, and unfeeling? I am. I work without caring what happens to either of us. So go back to the club, bear it all, and stock the kind of people that you enjoy. Hey. <laughs> Do the script right, bub. Okay. Superstar Afrida Esports Athlete Ku Yang P.I.E.A. Player of the Week dropping 40 eliminations carrying Afrida on his digital back to beat the number one team in the Lancaster York Division Mannheim Township brings Afrida to a 3-1 record in Valorant. Oof. Rifle Open Gyms will take place on November 5th and 12th starting at 6 p.m. Anyone interested in attending should be at the main front doors before 6. They will run until 8 p.m. Last night, after falling behind 5-0, the LA Dodgers beat the New York Yankees to win the MLB World Series, four games to one. In other club news, Ephra Chess Club, when Tuesdays and Thursdays starting in November running through February. The meetings and practices will run from 3 to 3.40 in room 107. The matches are to be determined. Serious players of all experience levels are welcome to practice. After the first few meetings, committed members will participate in interscholastic matches based on their individual ranking. Now, back to the main desk. Attention ninth graders, on Friday, November 1st, you will be taking part in our annual STEM Summit run by the organization called Junior Achievement. During this day-long experience, you will be participating in games, experiments, competitions, and activities that relate to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You will be assigned to a team and a teacher to help guide you through the event, which will be shared by your first period teacher leading up to the day of the STEM Summit. Except for starting the day in first period, you will not be any classes, so pack light for the rest of the day. Your teacher will be providing more information as you approach the event, so stay tuned. Want to spread some holiday cheer to our troops serving overseas? Many of them will not be home with their families this holiday season. Stop by the media center to make some cards. We have cards and supplies available as soon as you walk in. You may submit as many cards as you would like to the circulation desk. No glitter, no last names, and no envelopes needed. The last day to submit cards will be November 22nd. Let's make their holidays a little brighter by thanking our troops for their service. It, it is, is Act Period 3, three today. today. Have, Have a, a haunting, haunting, haunting day, Ephrata. Woo! Woo!